If only there were a way to monitor the bilge pump on my boat from home. If you're anything like me, launch day can be stressful. We put the boat in the water, maybe install the impeller and fire up the engine for the first time in who knows how long. Put the sails on and if we have the energy, maybe go for a quick sail. And then we go home and stir and wonder. Did we check the hose clamps on the through hulls? What about the new stuffing box we just installed? I forgot to test the bilge pump. Does it still work? Bilge pumps are... Ugh. Technology on boats can be exciting or it can be downright menacing. Sailboats are simple and we like that. But when I was approached at the Miami Boat Show by a team that said they could give me remote monitoring access to not just my bilge pump, but any sensor I wanted on my boat from anywhere, they had my attention, skeptical attention. That sounds nice, but what's in it for you? So here's the premise. We already have tech on our boats, right? The chart plotter talks to the wind instruments, which talk to the transducers. It's called NMEA, or NEMA as most of us pronounce it. And most of us already have it. The NEMA backbone, the little wires that run to all the things. It knows things. Through the transducers, it knows the water depth, usually water temperature and boat speed. NEMA knows the wind speed and direction from the top of the mast. It knows the boat's location from the plotter. And of course, it knows the amount of water in the bilge because bilge sensors can have NEMA. There's a lot of information there already zipping around our boats in those little NEMA wires. So what happens if we connect NEMA to the Wi-Fi or even cellular data? then we'd be able to see all of our boat's information from anywhere. Well, that's where we're at. The company, Synapse, had come along with a little box we can install on our NEMA backbone, and its job is to take all that data our boat already knows and get it to our phone. So when we're not at the boat, we can see it all. Here's the app. They provide a few demo boats in the app for us to look at, so let's check out this power yacht. I can see where the boat is right now, hopefully right where I left it. And this darker circle around the boat is their geofencing that you can make bigger or smaller. And if the boat violates the fence, we get an alert on our phone. I'm thinking anchor alerts, but we'd have to test this in the real world at anchor to see if it's better than the anchor apps we already use. What I'm interested in here is we hit more and then choose sensors. This demo boat of theirs has some sensors already installed. I can see the board voltage or house bank. This boat is 24 volt and the bank is a healthy 27.3 volts. Engine bank also 27.3. So I suspect this boat is plugged in right now and being maintained by a multi-bank charger. And of course the bilge sensor, which shows us the pump is currently off. And if we go into the bilge sensor, we can see its runtime for the last 12 hours, 24 hours, or even seven days. I like this. Backing out, we can see all the other NEMA sensors they have on this boat. Wind, engine, RPM at last operation, water depth, oil pressure, fuel burn, fuel level in some NEMA equipped fuel tanks. And even our water and black tank sensors can be displayed right on our phone. And lastly, engine hours, so you can plan your next oil change. This is all pretty cool stuff, and not just that, the company Synapse can set you up with all kinds of new sensors, including their tender anti-theft, their outboard anti-theft, their motion sensors for inside the cabin, door and hatchboard sensors. You could have a full-on security system in your boat if you were so inclined. So let's talk about the practical downsides of any such system. My first question is, what does it cost? Something like this is bound to be expensive. Well, Beneteau has picked up the Synapse technology and all of their new boats are coming pre-installed with it, which I think goes a long way to say how reliable this must be. Beneteau is installing it on everything now. So you can buy a brand new Beneteau or they sell a retrofit package for just shy of 1500 US dollars that can be installed in basically anything with a NEMA backbone. So not a terrible price as boat tech goes comparably. I've spent $1,500 just thinking about my boat for too long. And what would you pay yearly to have access to all of your boat's sensors, including all the motion sensors, companionway, hatchboard, intrusion stuff? Just the bilge pump sensor alone, the peace of mind, 
I'd likely part with a couple hundred bucks a year for that kind of stuff, as long as they keep it working all the time and continue to refine it, add new features, and make the app more useful. And that's basically what they charge. Their annual subscription fee is just shy of $250, which I understand. They have a team to pay and they're still developing this product. So $1,500 for the tech and $250 a year, and I get to monitor my boat from anywhere, right? Well, they want you to have a dealer install the product, so there's that, though I'd likely do it myself. And while the little box they sell can use the Wi-Fi at the marina, it does need a cellular chip to work, and they provide that in that subscription fee. But what if that's not good enough? Am I stuck with having to maybe pay another Verizon bill for a second SIM card? On the plus side, this box doesn't actually use very much internet data. It's just sending tiny amounts of data up, and not like it'll be living in your basement playing World of Warcraft and watching YouTube videos at all hours of the night. So the cost seems bearable. My next question is, what's it draw? It obviously uses electricity full time to accomplish its noble mission. How much so? Well, a solid answer is hard to find, but it does have its own GPS and cellular antennas and a microprocessor. So it's got to draw as much as an iPad with the screen off. Also, CNAP says the box is intelligent. When it senses the boat is in use, it goes into full-on reporting mode, but when it senses the boat at rest, it slows down its reporting and data collection to save on battery draw. I'll let you watch the video Beneteau posted about this. It's just a minute long, but it worries me a little bit. Check this out. What if? What if you could stay connected with your boat? What if you could keep her safe and ready to cruise at any time? No matter what type of boat, whether she is new or equipped with the retrofit package, with CNAPS, always keep an eye on board. Thanks to custom recommendations, you can easily anticipate maintenance and schedule the next appointment with your dealer directly in your mobile app. Intervention reports, maintenance logs, invoices, everything is saved in a maintenance book always available in your pocket. Then sail off with a free mind. And do not miss the latest offers custom made for you. So Beneteau is saying a feature is alerted maintenance. It'll tell you when to go to the dealer. It'll tell you when it's time for battery issues to be addressed, oil changes things like that, they see an ongoing revenue from knowing what all their boats are out there doing. And okay, I get that. Everybody's got to make money. But I see as a do-it-yourselfer these prompts to tell me when I need to do this maintenance, when an oil change is due, when the batteries drop below a specific voltage. I see a to-do list that automatically makes itself. CNAPS isn't the only one doing this either. The Siren 3 Pro system does the same stuff for about the same price. And they even offer an offshore satellite antenna so people can find your boat if it goes offshore out of cell range, which might be a nice safety feature. The conclusion, I like it. I really do. The remote bilge pump monitor interests me most, but if I could have motion sensors and hatchboard intrusion, I'd likely take that too. A couple hundred a year? Yeah. It would pay for itself the first time something went wrong. Water intrusion and I get an alert on my phone immediately. Imagine what this could save you should the worst happen while you leave your boat at the dock. And maybe my insurance might go down. I'll have to call them and see. I'll leave a link to the CNAPS videos below and ask you. Please leave a comment. What do you think of this technology? Would you do it? Do you already have a device like this? How's it working? Let's talk about it.